Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I'm going to take you through an intermediate to advanced reformer class. You're going to need a chi ball, some hand weights and a box. So we're going to start with two red springs and one blue. Place the hand weights on either side of your body and place the chi ball in between your knees. Your heels are going to come onto the foot bar hip width apart. Arms are by your side, tailbone's nice and heavy. We're going to start with a few pelvic tilts. So inhale, take a deep belly breath. And as you exhale, start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. And then inhale to release. Exhale, start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. It's a really little movement waking up through the lower abdominals and the lower back. And then inhaling to release. Exhale, drawing down, belly buttons drawing to your spine, starting to tilt the pelvis. This time we're gonna add in a bridge. So start to peel your tailbone off, lift the hips up to the ceiling and then draw your belly button to your spine. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. And let's repeat that. Inhale, take a deep belly breath. Exhale, imprinting, lifting the hips up to the ceiling. Slight squeeze through your glutes as you lift. And then lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Release the tailbone at the end. On this next one, I want you to keep your hips up nice and high. We're now going to squeeze and release the chi ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Let's repeat that. Exhale, lift the hips up, come into your high bridge. And now let's start to squeeze a chi ball. You've got eight for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself down. We've got one more here. Inhale, taking that deep belly breath. Exhaling, start to peel the tailbone off, lifting up. Press evenly through both heels. We've got 10 squeezes here for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself all the way down. Once your tailbone anchors, I want you to grab hold of those weights that are beside you. Elbows are coming in close by your waist. You're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling. As you lift the hips, reach the knuckles up to the ceiling as well. Lower the hips down, bend the elbows in close by your waist, and let's repeat that. Exhaling, lifting up. Driving the arms up to the ceiling, nice and strong through the arms. And then lowering yourself down. You've got your last one here. Exhaling, lifting up. You're going to keep your hips up nice and high this time. You're going to open your right arm out to the side. And then exhale, come back through center. So you want to stabilize through the torso here. We're alternating each arm, but we want to keep the torso nice and still while we're opening the arms out. We've got one more either side. The left arm comes out, comes back through center. Now we've got both arms. So opening both arms out to the side, exhale, coming back through center. You've got two to go. Belly button's drawing to your spine. Last one here. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Release the tailbone, elbows coming close by your waist. Grab hold of your chi ball. You're gonna place it off to one side. And now we're going to float our right leg into tabletop, elbows in close by the waist. We're coming into some single leg footwork here. So you're going to exhale, press away from the foot bar, lengthen your left leg all the way and then inhale to bend. So nice and soft through the left knee as you extend and nice and controlled as you bend the left knee. Keep reaching your knuckles up towards the ceiling, your right leg still into tabletop. You're maintaining neutral spine so you've got a little blueberry sized gap between the small of your back and the carriage and make sure that your right knee is at a right right angle position so your shins parallel to the ceiling just a few more like this before we add in the leg extension on the right leg so the next time that you bend your left knee you're going to reach your right leg over the foot bar and then exhale drop back into tabletop we're still continuing with the same arm movements we're just adding in that right leg extension here five to go inhaling exhaling You've got your last four, drive out through the left heel. Make sure your left knee's in line with your left second toe for three. Two to go. And your last one here. You're gonna come down halfway with the left leg. You've got little tiny pulses up and down. So two inches up, two inches down. We've got 10 for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, press out all the way. Nice, 
Nicely done. Let's place the right heel onto the foot bar, float the left leg into tabletop. We're gonna repeat it on the right leg. So making sure your right knee is in line with your right second toe. Keep pressing evenly through the right heel. You've still got neutral spine, nice and soft through the right leg as you extend. Reaching the knuckles up to the ceiling as you extend through the arms as well. In a moment, we're gonna to start to add in that left leg extension over the foot bar. So when you bend your right knee, you're going to start to extend the left leg over the foot bar and then draw the left leg back into tabletop. Inhaling and then exhaling, pressing away. Backs of the ribs are engaged on the carriage, tailbone's nice and heavy, nice and strong through the right leg. You've got a few more here before we're coming into pulses. Inhaling, exhaling. On the next one, you're gonna come down halfway. You've got little tiny pulses up and down through the right leg. You've got seven for six and five for four, three, two. Last one, pressing out all the way through the right leg. Well done. Place the left toes onto the foot bar and float the right leg into tabletop. This time, you're gonna bend your left knee. As you do that, the arms are opening out wide to the side. And as you exhale to extend the left leg, your arms are coming back up to the ceiling. So we're inhaling, bending, opening out with the arms. Exhale to extend, draw the arms back together. Working through your flies here and pressing through all five toes on the left foot. Exhaling and then inhaling. Using your breath, the next time that you bend your left knee, we're gonna to start to extend your right leg out over the foot bar and exhale, draw up towards the ceiling, keeping a straight leg. We're changing the movement now. We're keeping the same arms as before. We've got seven to go. Keep the left heel lifted. Exhale, pressing away. We've got six more here. Right leg's nice and straight for five. Exhale, last four, using your breath. Final three here for two. Last one here, exhale, reaching up. Bend your right knee, come down halfway with the left leg. You're gonna pulse up and down through the left leg as you circle the arms in one direction. You've got five to go for four in this direction, for three, two, one. Keep pulsing the left leg, reverse the circles through the arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pressing out all the way, nice. Keeping the left heel lifted, arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, lower the heel underneath the foot bar. As we do that, we're gonna bend the elbows back and then exhale, extend the arms, lift the heel back up. So we're working into a single leg calf raise as well as working the triceps through the arms. Keeping the right leg parallel to the ceiling, the right shin parallel to the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, lower the heel underneath, nice and controlled and exhale, lifting it back up. You've got four more here. Using your breath for three. Exhale, lifting up. Two more here. And the last one, keep the heel lifted. We're gonna place the right toes onto the foot bar, float the left leg into tabletop. As you bend your right knee, open your arms out wide. Exhale, press out through the right ball of the foot. Draw the hands back up to the ceiling. Inhaling and then exhaling, pressing away. Making sure that the heel is still lifted on the right leg. That way you work into your calf a little bit more and also your quad challenges your ankle stability as well using your breath nice and controlled extension as you extend nice and controlled as you bend just a few more here before we add in the single leg extension through the left leg when you're ready you're going to extend the left leg over the foot bar exhale floating it up towards the ceiling with the straight leg inhaling to bend through the right knee exhaling floating the left leg up drawing the hands back together We've got seven to go, inhaling, exhale to extend. Our last six, using your breath. For five, keep the left leg nice and straight. Last four, press evenly through the ball of the right foot. For three, inhaling to bend, exhale, pressing out for two. 
Last one here, you're gonna come down halfway, little pulses through the right leg. As you pulse through the right leg, circle the arms in one direction. You've got five and four, three, two, one. Continue pulsing through the right leg, just reverse the circles through the arms. We've got eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pressing out all the way, we're coming into our single leg calf raises. So inhaling, lowering the right heel underneath, exhale, pressing up through the ball of the foot, extending the arms up towards the ceiling. Work through your tricep press as well as the right ankle. We've got six to go. And for five. Last four here. And for three. For two. And your last one here. You're going to place the left toes onto the foot bar. We're going to come into some prances here. So bend your right knee, send the left heel underneath the foot bar. Come up through demi point, swapping over to the other side. Just getting that nice stretch and release through the back of the legs. We've got four to go. And for three, two more here. And your last one. Coming up through demi point, bend both knees, draw the carriage all the way in. We're gonna come out from there and we're gonna change over just to one blue spring and then grab hold of your chi ball again. We're going to lie down onto our back and place the chi ball in between our shoulder blades. Just make sure that you're away from your shoulder rest so you can comfortably lie down and they're not in your road. To readjust here so lying all the way down make sure that you're feeling nice and supported toes are coming on into a Pilates V position so toes are on heels together wrap your hands around the carriage and you're going to extend the legs out nice and long and you want a nice C curve through the belly so drawing your belly button to your spine C curve through the spine lengthen through the legs squeezing your inner thighs as you extend inhaling and then exhaling if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, if it pulls onto your neck, you can always interlace your fingertips together and place the hand behind the head, just to help us to support the neck a little bit more. The next time that you lengthen your legs, to make it a little more challenging, you can reach your arms out and have them on the outside of your thighs. Exhaling, pressing through the balls of the feet, lengthen, squeeze, inhaling to bend. Continuing to deepen through that C curve. Gazes forward. Nice work. Just a couple more here before we advance it again. Exhaling, squeezing. Nice. From here, you're going to interlace your fingertips, place the hands behind the head, continue with the movement. So we're bending our knees and then exhaling, pressing away, squeezing inner thighs. Gaze is still forward. Make sure that the head's heavy in the hands. Heels are still lifted. Exhaling, you should be feeling your abdominals working here to keep you lifted and also your lower abdominals as you extend through the legs. Now you can always hold this position if that feels comfortable or to make it more challenging, you can add in a little jump away from the foot bar. So on this next one, you're gonna bend through both knees and then exhale, press away, lose contact with the foot bar. It's almost like you're hanging 10 out there. It just puts some more pressure into the abdominals. It makes you work a little bit more. Inhaling to bend, exhaling, pressing away. Good, you're using your breath, heels are squeezed together, legs are lengthening towards the foot bar. If you'd like to make it even more challenging, add in a few beats of the legs. So cross one leg over the other, try and change in midair. You wanna keep your torso nice and still so it shouldn't be rocking from side to side. If it is, just go back to the original jumps or just go down to one or two beats. Just a few more like this before we're gonna change into our scissors. You should be really feeling the lower abs here. Belly buttons drawing to your spine, lifting up a little bit higher. Now into our scissors, extend our right leg long. And then in midair, you're gonna swap. So we're changing and changing. We've got six to go. And for five, try and find as much air as you can. For four, you've got it lifting up a little higher. For three, exhale, pressing away, you've got two. Well done, last one here. Good, find the foot bar. You're going to come into your obliques here. So right leg comes into tabletop. You're gonna exhale, press out through the left leg. And as you do that, you're gonna add in a rotation to your right knee. So you wanna draw your left armpit over to your right knee. As you bend the left knee, you're going to extend the right leg over the foot bar. And then exhaling, rotating. We've got four to go. So this is a nice little quick 
ab series. We've got our final three here. Exhale, pressing away, rotating, inhaling to bend for two. And our last one here, you're gonna keep that rotation towards the right knee. You've got little pulses up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, extend the right leg long. Inhaling and then exhaling here. We've got six to go. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Lift up a little higher for five. Last four, keep the left leg straight. Three to go, exhale. Two more here. Last one, draw the right leg into tabletop. Come back through center, then bend your left knee. Float the left leg into tabletop. We're gonna change over straight away. So we're keeping those abs really warm. Exhaling, pressing away through the right leg. Rotate to the left knee. Inhale, exhaling using your breath nice work we've got five to go really feeling those obliques working keep the head heavy in the hands for four we've got it last three here exhaling rotating two more last one here hold that rotation to the left leg we've got tiny little pulses up and down for eight seven six five four three two one hold it here let's extend the left leg long exhaling drawing it back into tabletop we've got seven to go and for six for five inhale exhaling last four three more two last one here well done draw your leg back through tabletop come back through center open yourself over the chi we'll get a really nice stretch through the abdominals well done when you're ready you're going to curl up from there and we're keeping the blue spring we're going to get rid of the chi ball and we're going to grab our box now so we're placing it as a long box on the left side of your reformer if you're facing away from the footbar and then i want you to grab hold of your hand weight with the left foot, step into the center of the box and then place your right foot onto your platform. You're then you're gonna grab hold of your right short loop with your right hand. So the short loop in your right hand. Hips are nice and square. Left hand's by your side. You're gonna bend your knees and then exhaling to extend. We're working into our glute here. So we're bending through both knees and then exhaling to ex extend. Your right foot's on the platform the left foot's in the center of the box inhaling and then exhaling drawing up you've got four to go and for three two more here last one here this time we're going to add in the running arms so as you bend your right or both knees you're going to bend your right elbow extend your left arm nice and long exhaling and then inhaling to draw back up start to feel the left glute switching on we've got six more running arms for five last four here shoulders are squared torso is nice and still for three two more on this next one hold it here you're gonna hold yourself down you're just gonna continue running the arms for nine eight seven sink a little lower if you can for six exhaling pulling five to go before we're going to finish with some pulses through the legs for four last three you've got it two more here on your next one keep the right elbow in close by your waist left arms extended long little pulses through the legs you've got ten nine eight seven six five four three two one standing up nice and tall slowly release the strap place it onto the shoulder pin you're going to step down carefully grab hold of your box we're going to change over to the other side straight away just make sure that the box is nice and secure on the floor so it's not going to tilt and you're going to step onto the box have your right foot in the center of the box Grab hold of the short loop with your left hand. Place the left foot onto the platform. We're going to start with the bends through our knees. So we're inhaling to bend 
and then exhaling to extend. Nice. Eight to go. Equal pressure through both feet. For seven, make sure that your hips are square. Six more here. Inhale, exhaling to extend. Last five. For four. Three more. We've got it for two. Good, last one here. This next one, as you bend the knees, you're gonna to start to pull the arm in, extend the other arm long. Exhaling and then inhaling, nicely done. Shoulders are square, torsos remaining nice and still. We've got it, using your breath, six to go. Single arm row for five, exhaling, inhaling. Four more, three more, you've got it. Two to go, last one here. And we're gonna continue, focus on running just the arms. So coming down halfway, running the arms for nine, eight. Controlled here for seven, six. Last five, feel everything working to stabilize. For four, you've got three, two more. On this next one, hold it here, little pulses through the legs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully standing up all the way, well done. Place a long loop onto the shoulder pin. You should be feeling the glutes working. Grab hold of that box. We're gonna come into a bit of a pigeon stretch just to stretch out what we've worked. So it's really good to elongate the muscles. So you can place the outside of your right shin or right calf onto the box and lean into that stretch. You feel a deep glute stretch here using your breath. And then let's swapping over to the other side when you're ready. Getting that release through the hip and the glute. Lengthening out those muscles. Just a few more seconds here. And when you're ready, you're gonna come out of there. We're keeping that blue spring. And we're going to work into our abs again. So I want you to reach down, grab hold of the long loops. You're gonna thread your feet through them and place them at the fluffies above your knees. Make sure that they're even. Scoot your bottom towards the edge of the box. Reach your arms out long. Exhaling, start to roll off your sit bones. You're gonna interlace both fingertips together. And then one by one, you're gonna float your legs into tabletop. Beautiful, starting with the neutral spine, we're gonna work into our chest lifts here. Exhale, scooping up through the head, neck and shoulders, draw your gaze in between your knees, and then inhale to lower yourselves down. Let's warm up through the upper abdominals. Inhaling and then exhaling, lifting up. Nice, you've got four more. The legs are staying nice and still for three, so that means the carriage is still. Two more. And on this next one, I want you to keep yourself lifted. Keeping the carriage still, you're inhaling, toe tapping down the right leg towards the headrest and then exhaling, drawing back through center. You wanna keep the carriage as still as possible. We're alternating legs here, belly buttons drawing to your spine. You should start to feel your lower abdominals switching on. If this is too easy, you can change it to a double leg toe taps. And if you are doing double leg, that means the carriage is going to move. Inhaling and then exhaling. So the challenging part here is both legs tapping down, exhaling, coming back through center. So you can always make the movement smaller if that feels better for you. You should really be feeling your lower abdominals here. Just a few more before we come into our crisscrosses. Exhaling as you draw the legs back in. So keep the legs up on this next one. Extend your right leg, draw the right elbow over to the left knee. So it's coming into a bit of a crisscross. Try and keep that carriage as still as possible. This is a really quick ab set. So your abs should be absolutely on fire. You've only got a few more here before we make the movement even more challenging. You're gonna keep both legs straight this time, then bend your left knee, draw your right pit over to the left knee. So the legs are straight, you're just drawing one leg in. As you do that, you're rotating to that opposite knee. We've got three to go, and for two. Almost there, last one here, draw the leg in, hug your knees into your chest. Woof, we made it. That's really intense, that ab set. Let's come up and out of there, unthread your knees from those loops. 
place the long loops onto your shoulder pins and then we're going to quickly turn around and lie onto our belly facing towards the foot bar. We're going to work into our arms here. So legs are reaching out long behind you. You're going to place your right heel of the hand onto the foot bar, left hand behind the back. Have your fingertips facing towards your nose. So you're going to exhale, press out through the heel of the right hand, extend the arm long and then inhale to bend. Gaze is down towards the floor. We're exhaling, pressing out, inhaling to bend. You guys have got it. Working through the arm here. Feel the shoulder blades drawing up and down the back as you extend the arm and as you bend. A few more like this before we work into our tricep variation. When you're ready, you're going to draw the elbow in close by the waist and then extend the arms in this direction. So you're going to work through the triceps. You've got six to go, pressing out through the right heel of the hand. Fingertips are pointing forwards. Four more here. And for three. Two more, nice and controlled. Last one here. We're just going to come down halfway and then exhale to extend. It's like a little tricep pulse. We've got it. Six to go. Exhaling. Inhaling for five. Last four. Three more here. Working those arms for two. Exhale, pressing up. Last one here. Now let's place the left hand onto the foot bar, right hand behind the back. Have the fingers facing towards your nose and then extend the left arm nice and long. Gaze is still down towards the springs. Six more. Keep reaching those legs out long behind you. Squeeze those inner thighs. We've got it. Four. Three. Exhale, pressing away. Two more. Last one here. Now you're going to face the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Press out through the heel of the left hand. Make sure the elbow is coming in nice and close to the box so you're really working your tricep. Last six. And for five. Four to go. Three. Two. Last one here. You're going to come down halfway. So bend the elbow. Exhale to extend. We've got eight little tricep pulses for seven. For six, gaze is still down towards the floor. For five, inhaling, exhaling. You're almost there. Last four here. Three. For two. Last one. Pressing out all the way and draw the carriage all the way in. We're going to change springs, so changing to one red spring, take off the blue spring and wrap your right hand around the foot bar. We're going to press out all the way and come up into a bit of extension. So inhale, start to lift the gaze, draw the carriage all the way in without bending the elbows or letting the shoulders creep up and then exhaling to press away. You get a nice big stretch through the spine, legs still reaching out long behind you. Lifting up through the crown of the head and then lowering down. We've got three more here. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. Two more. And one more stretch here. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower all the way down. You're going to bend the elbows, draw the carriage in. And we're going to find a four point kneeling position on top of the box. So you want your shoulders over your wrists, knees in line with your hips. We're going to come into a few cat cows. Exhale, press away, draw your gaze towards your belly. Inhale, let the belly hang, draw the gaze forward. And your final two here. Exhale, pressing away, gaze is drawing towards your belly button. Inhale, let your belly hang, draw the gaze forward. Last one, really rounding through that back. Inhale to release, walk the knees forward, come back into a child's pose position, place your left hand on the left side of the foot bar, right hand comes on top, pull into the right side, feels like a nice deep stretch. And then when you're ready, place the right hand on the right side, left hand comes on top, pull into the left side, get that really nice deep stretch through the left side of the body. And then you're going to slowly draw yourself up. We're going to come off of the box. Take it off as well, and we're keeping the red spring. You're going to step inside of in between the well, 
on so inside of the reformer have the headrest up just a notch and then your left heels coming in between the headrest and the carriage you're gonna work our hamstrings here you're gonna exhale drag that carriage all the way in towards your right shin and then inhale to release so we're standing up nice and tall if this is too heavy walk yourself closer towards the headrest if you want more resistance walk yourself further away working through the back of the leg here we've got three to go and for two exhale dragging that carriage up one more here before we come into the little pulses we've got eight and seven six just coming out halfway with the carriage for five four work that hamstring for three two last one here release the carriage Carefully place the left foot onto the ground and now you're going to place your right heel in between the headrest and the carriage. Exhale, drag that carriage up near your left shin. Inhale to release. Hips are tracking forward. We've got six to go. And for five. Final four here. Exhale, dragging it up. Three more, standing nice and tall on that left leg. Two more, feel the hamstring working last one here we've got eight little pulses to finish exhaling drawing up inhale to release we've got six to go for five last four three two one more here and then release the carriage all the way carefully step out of there we're going to get a hamstring stretch so place your left foot up against near the foot bar right foot's up against the shoulder rest keeping both legs straight and both hips tracking forward just send the carriage away, get that nice deep hamstring stretch through the left leg. And when you're ready, draw the carriage in. Carefully walk around to the other side. We've got the stretch on our right leg now. Both legs are straight, keep the hips tracking down, pressing away, getting that release through the back of the leg. and drawing the carriage all the way in. You're all finished for today. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.